Um, so for the squat, right, the main force that's moving that barbell is your legs. Um, sadly, we can't take the barbell and sit it on top of our legs, right? That would be ideal for a squat. If we could take that barbell right here and just move our legs up and down, we'd be able to squat a whole hell of a lot of weight. Um, sadly, since we can't set the barbell there, we have to set it all the way up on top of our torso. Um, so the most efficient way to make that barbell move with our legs is to create the most rigid torso we possibly can. The more solid this is, the more force transfer we're going to have. Does that make sense? Right? If this starts to move a little bit as we're squatting, now that efficiency from all that leg strength is not as good as it was as if we could transfer it straight through a really rigid torso. So our goal is to make this not move. It literally should not move an inch while you squat, ideally. Um, is that actually going to happen? Probably not, but we're going to try as best we can. So we've got our, our stack of bones, our spine, right? that's coming all the way up from the top of our legs up to our neck where we're gonna set that barbell. Luckily, we've got a rib cage that is gonna help support the top half of that spine. So that's good for us. We've got some bones there. Um, but this middle section right here really isn't supported by anything at all. We've got a really flimsy spine that needs some help um, from the muscles and kind of the fascia that are all in the middle part of our torso here. Um, so we gotta figure out a way to make sure that this part doesn't move. This won't because our ribs are making sure it's okay, but this part will move. Um, so we're going to do a couple things by filling this with air. Um, I want you to think about 360 degrees of pressure. I hope this works. <laughs> I haven't tried this yet. So imagine your torso is a can, all right? So this can is pretty strong. There's no abnormalities in it. There's no kinks in it. This is what we want our torso to look like when we set a barbell on top of it. So when it's sitting there, please work, please work. <laughs> that seems real heavy. Okay, let's take a 15. All right, so if we were to take our torso and we're able to brace it properly with 360 degrees of pressure, so we're not only bracing into this portion, we're also bracing laterally, we're bracing into our back to make sure that we've got a nice round torso. So if we're able to do that, and we set our barbell on top of our 360 degrees of pressure, it should hold that weight really well. <laughs> All right? So nothing's compromised here. However, let's say we're in a squat and we get ready to come up out of the squat and all of a sudden our, our little bit of our brace gives away. So we're giving, putting a little kink into that front part of our brace. So we don't now have 360 degrees of pressure. If we take that weight and we try to put it on top of that brace now, <laughs> it's going to crumble. You get the idea. <laughs> so that's our goal. We've got a whole lot of bracing to do in all directions in this bottom part of our core right here. So even right now, as we're sitting here, you guys can take a breath into your stomach. All right, try to get some air into there. You should be able to feel a little bit of air going into the sides here. You should be able to feel a little bit of air going into your back. And what we're going to do once that core is filled is something called the Vasalva maneuver. Um, you guys have heard of that, right? Where we take air into our torso or into our kind of air cavity, close off the airway, and then push against that closed airway. So try that right now. It doesn't matter how you take a breath in. Take a big breath in. <sighs> <laughs> 